So I've been a very, very bad RV refrigerator owner on my uh, four month trip to the USA. I let this grow, this little big baby in the back, this block of ice. So I'm going to see how long that takes to melt. I've got a little heater. I'm going to force some air into it to speed it up. And then I'll give the whole thing a nice cleaning. And we'll see how it goes. So I think if I left this go any longer, I could risk some serious damage. So I'm kind of at that extreme level where I looked at it and they said, I got to do something about that. It's 10, 16. We'll see how many hours that takes to defrost. So it's now a little over three hours later and uh, she's all done and clean. Now I do want to warn you guys about something. I had to take this drip tray out because I went outside to see how my uh, where my drip hose went to and of course it was broken. Now it's actually designed to leak into the bottom and go outside anyway so I just didn't want all the water going all over my wiring inside there. And for some of you that have a drip tray in the bottom, that could actually uh, spill over and get onto your floor. It's like a five cent part and it apparently fails all the time. So um, I just put a, you know, some containers under there to catch it so it didn't go into to here and go out the uh, broken drip line, which I will just replace at some point. I'll show you outside what it looks like. Now you're gonna wanna take your panel off at least once or twice a year to make sure you don't have spiders or uh, wasps growing in there because wasps love to get in and build nests and uh, even if I look in the back I think there is a slight remnant of a, a first attempt at a wasp nest in the back I'll just knock that out but this is that hose I'm telling you about hard to see up there but it actually is broken off where it comes out a really cheap hose and it's designed to just leak out onto the bottom anyway but the way the hose was leaking it was dripping all over the wiring and I just thought that was a bad idea so I uh, defrosted my fridge without having to use the drain pipe and I'll just replace the hose at some other point a little tough to get your fingers in there but I don't know I'll just have to fight with it on a nice day so yeah check your drain hoses some of these like I said don't drain into really nice spots and can cause damage and this is actually a really dumb design anyway because this is just wood but I guess it's, it, the, the thought process is not much water is ever going to come down here and it'll evaporate but I'll figure something out anyway I'm just happy the fridge is defrosted so in the meantime folks stay safe keep your wheels on the ground and check your Rain hoses on your fridge. Over and out.